Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today is Wednesday, August 14th, and this is Trail Time Confessions, episode 9. Uh, I am a couple miles from the border, actually, and uh, last night, I, well, yesterday, I left Callahan's at about... Um, I don't know, 11.45, something like that. And I hiked until about 9.45 last night. And it was dark, had my headlamp on. And this brings up the uh, topic of conversation today, which is things that go bump in the night. <laughs> um, you know, there's, I think, uh, just an inherent fear in all of us for the most part of the unknown and uh, the night, the darkness, the unknown. And last night when I'm walking on the trail, you know, as the sun's going down, put my headlamp on and of course I'm scanning and looking all in the fields and trying to find see you know see if there's any any animals there and sure enough there's just these glowing <laughs> glowing eyes all around me as I'm walking and uh, not gonna lie you know it does give a sense of fear you know knowing that uh there's animals all around me and for the most part um you know they're just laying there just looking so um i really wasn't too scared but um you know there is there is a possibility that you know there are some predators out there and and so you just got to be be on point. So, needless to say, <laughs> um, things do go bump in the night. And last night, I uh, made camp at this intersection, kind of by a dirt road and the trail. This like little tree oasis, and there were these piles of <laughs> piles of shit i th i didn't think it was it was uh manure last night but it was um i th after i saw it this morning there were definitely piles of <laughs> of poop and they're big probably you know like flattened size of a basketball basically so um in the camp where I was at. So I pitched my tent and, you know, went to sleep. It was late, ate some food. I didn't make any of my backpacking meals. Um, the dried food, I just kind of ate stuff that was free to eat. And, uh, which has kind of been the theme the last couple nights when I've been on the trail. I just been hiking so late that I just get in and get in my tent and it's it's been a little difficult to to make my food it's just a process and it takes time and it's kind of a pain in the ass <laughs> but um so I'm gonna be a little bit more diligent about making making my food I think earlier actually around dinner time especially if I'm gonna be hiking late that way I can just pull up pull up into my tent site pitch my tent and uh, go to sleep <laughs> so anyway so last night I'm in my sleeping bag and you know I'm close to about 7,000 feet and it was actually really nice out last night not too windy um yeah it was it was nice out 
I don't know if you can hear, but there's like a cowbell or a wind chime or something in the background. So I think I'm close to a farm or something. I don't know. I tried looking on the map and I couldn't, couldn't find a house or a dwelling or a cabin or anything. And I can't see anything even in the distance. So last night I'm laying in my tent and I hear barking. And it's not like barking that is deep or large, because you can kind of, you know, not distinguish what kind of animal it is, but I mean, maybe, I guess you can, but you can, you kind of know if it's a big dog or a little dog or a puppy. And there was some barking last night and uh, it was, you know, I don't know, it could have been a coyote, it could have been, how's it going, man? Just doing some vlogging. Just doing some vlogging. Did, uh, did you sleep close to here? I slept uh, maybe three, no, two and a half miles into California. Okay. Did you, did you hear anything last night? Like any barking or? I thought I just heard barking as I was coming along around. Okay. Maybe over there, I'm not sure. There was like some like lake pond thing down below and I thought I heard barking, but. Did you see any um, any dwellings, any houses or anything? Or... There's like, there's a wind chime or like a cowbell or oh, something? Oh, there's cowbells everywhere. Okay. That's the, the there, there's cowbells. Cowbells will be a thing that you hear for like 100 miles What's so. the worth? Are these fucking cows or something? Yeah, or? yeah there's cows down variously. <laughs> That's crazy. Either in the woods or like down in the meadows. Just like wild cows? No, nah, they're peoples. It's they, they they let them graze on national forest land. Oh, you know what? I heard I heard somebody talking about that actually, but I heard a mooing last night and it was keeping yeah. me up. I was like, yeah. I didn't know if it was a moose or no. There's you know. cow. There's cows around. Most of the big an like if you hear a big animal at night, it's like probably cows because they just like don't give a shit. They just like wander around. Yeah. Through a lot of the camps and stuff. Gotcha. And there's like piles of. Yeah, there's cow shit everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like I didn't. It didn't look like re like regular cow shit from back home. I it was like flattened basketballs, basically. Yeah. So okay, it makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah, it's cows. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, take care, man. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so there you have it. There's wild cows out here. <laughs> um. So anyway, so heard some barking, and. It was, uh, you know, it sounded like a puppy, actually. Like a small, small, you know, under 30 pound type of dog that, uh, you know, was high pitched. So, you know, I, I really wasn't scared or anything too much. <laughs> but, you know, when you hear sounds at night, things that go and bump in the night, um, you know, it does evoke a little sense of, of fear. And I think once you can just get past some of those fears, um, you know, you, you're able to just relax, I think. And I just kept telling myself, just kept breathing. <laughs> and, you know, cause you can, you can talk yourself into believing anything you want, whether it's positive or negative. And, you know, when there's reinforcement, like certain noises, <laughs> um, you know, it can, it can heighten the experience. And that's, that's exactly what was going on last night. So um, there was something that I scared um, or got scared of me. That was kind of close. Um, I just heard, it was, I, I would say probably, I don't know, 15 to 20 feet, I think, away from my, my tent as far as the sound. But uh, 
it's I scared something and it like stumbled on the rocks kind of sounded like me falling down the trail <laughs> but I don't think it was a human because there was no light and anyways I, it just walked off but all you can really do when you're in your tent is uh is just wait it out and try and scare whatever it is away just by making noise most animals don't like metal so you know i just banged banged my poles together and uh just yelled a little bit <laughs> for whatever it was to get the hell away from me so i could go to sleep but i did not get a, a lot of sleep last night so um yeah that's about it <laughs> as far as what happened last night things that go bump in the night we got a great view today coming up on uh california pretty excited about that like i said a couple miles away and um of course i'm gonna do my handstand at the border so i'll make sure to post that for you guys um you know, just to kind of elaborate on things that go bump in the night. Uh, you know, being on the trail is its kind of like going back in time. You know, if you really think about it, you're passing people, talking about, you know, what's ahead, what's behind. Um, it's really, you know, just oral communication at its best, storytelling. And... It's pretty cool because, you know, you're you're stepping back into <laughs> history of humankind. This is how we traveled for millennia. This is how, you know, we we walked from town to town. This is, you know, I would say, you know, up until. 200, 300 years ago, I mean, most, most people didn't own horses, and if you did, um, you know, you had money, but most of the peasants, they, they walked, so, you know, you're, you're walking, and you gotta walk through the, the burned area, and take a, take a right by the big old rock, you know, to, uh, to get to the next town, and those were the landmarks that uh, people talked about and you know we're able to navigate based on based on the land and different features and so I think you know in that oral communication you had stories that were elaborated and embellished and uh, you know those stories made things interesting they made things, um, it's like Facebook. It's like watching movies, you know, sitting around the campfire telling stories. And whether they are fabricated just a little bit or, um, or truth, monsters and demons and, and uh, you know, big, big animals and, and just, things that back in the day that people ghouls and goblins and things that people were scared of were really just a manifestation of something going on in their psyche typically that were embellished and uh and inflated and so really you know fear we have fear everybody has fear of something and you know once you can once like I said once you can get past that fear and uh, and just accept what's going on it makes the experience a lot better but uh, yeah so I'm gonna end this you guys and uh, that's my my two cents my confession for the day about uh, things that go bump in the night and I'm not talking about bumping and grinding <laughs> so 
I'm gonna check in with you guys when I hit the border, but uh, hope you guys have a great hump day. And till next time, this is Trail Time Confessions. Peace.